Zach's Rank Buys, stocks with a short-term buy or strong buy recommendation. And now, here are more Zach's Rank Buys. Value stock time once again. Time where we look at a couple of recent value stock stories that Tracy Reinick, our value stock strategist at Zacks.com, has written. Uh, you've got a couple of good ones here this time yeah. that you about companies you've written about recently. Dollar General Corporation, DG, the ticker symbol, mm -hmm. being one of them, and we all know what they do. They yeah. are a dollar store chain. Yep, the discount retailers, and you know these guys did real well during the middle of the recession because all the consumers traded down. And then everyone, you know, the analysts and everybody thought that that story would be over once the recession ended and people traded back up. But that hasn't really happened. Um, they, they actually just reported a couple weeks ago. So we have like recent um, earnings data from them and they had another record quarter. Um, they had, you know, uh, same store sales were up like 9%. They also had, um, you know, good traffic, store traffic. So we're not seeing, you know, the the trade-up going on. So these companies are still really good valuations. Yeah, as um, a retail analyst explained to me one time, uh, in fact, one of our former retail analysts here at Zacks, that's a mindset change that has to occur. Right. And when you let consumers you know, buy low for an extended period right. of time, uh, it's a while before you can get them to change that mindset. Right. And don't forget, these guys also do you know, a lot of food items. So, and especially right now, we're seeing a little bit of higher food prices place like Dollar General is going to do pretty well. Yeah. Um, they also gave guidance, which was a little bit higher than the analyst estimates for the year. So you can see estimates rising a little bit here. It's not very expensive. It's trading around 11 times. Um, the company has beat every quarter since they went public, actually. They didn't go public until 2009. They're one of those ones that was owned by private equity and then has re come back on the market. Um, but the shares are you know, near to two-year highs because it's not dead yet. <laughs> yeah. um, and the data is all showing you know, good results for this, this company. Um, and you know, like I said, it still has a decent amount of value here. Kindred Healthcare, another value stock you want to talk about, KND, the ticker symbol. What's going on here? Uh, this is the big rehab care uh, type of group that does um, acute long-term care um, and like rehabilitation and things like that. Okay. They are one of the biggest in the country and then they just announced in February that they were going to acquire Rehab Care Group, which is a competitor for about $1.3 billion. And that's going to make them even bigger in the rehab area and that kind of thing. Now this is kind of a play in the baby boomers because as people age, they're going to need more of these services. Um, the company is, you know, an interesting play here. They um, have beat on estimates 10 quarters in a row, so they're very consistent on their beats. Earnings um, are you know, going up a little bit here, but um, revenue with this kind of company, you're not going to get huge revenue growth. It was only 6% last quarter, but it's kind of one of those steady eddies that's acquiring competitors. And I was going to say they're back in the M&A game. Yeah, they'll acquire all these uh, big guys and some little guys to expand, um, but it's, again, not a bad place to be in the healthcare sector because people are aging and mm -hmm. there is going to be demand for their kind of services. Um, the chart uh, looks kind of interesting here. They um, are up big in the last like six months, which a lot of the healthcare companies have been. Um, they're a little more expensive than a company like Dollar General. They're trading about 14 and a half times, but that's not, you know, awful for this kind of company and, you know, kind of their expansion plans and what's going on in this kind of sector. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I've talked with uh, more people than I care to mention who have gone through uh, surgery on their limbs lately. Right. And that's any indication rehab care is going to be around for a while. Right, exactly. Do you own either of these? I do not. All right, check out more stock pick ideas on our homepage at Zax.com. Upper right-hand corner, four new ones up there for you daily. One in each of the investing categories that we write about. And with Tracy Reinick, I'm Terry Ruffalo.